like, damn, you so fine, girl, what is your sign? She say, I'm a Sagittarius, I'm a Capricorn, the beginning and end. I got a friend for your friend, hey, I'm making all of this money to spend. Deal stores buying. Hey, I don't buy. Alright guys, so I am back with another chit chat, get ready with me. As you can see, I have my co-host here. Say hi. With the LYS Beauty lip oil in her mouth. Okay. <laughs> Gianna is just, you yeah, already know how this goes, okay? So we just gonna jump straight into everything. As you can see, my hair is already basically done. I just have to put on my clothes and do my makeup. So y'all yeah, gonna be here with me for the makeup portion. So first we're gonna start with this Milk Hydro Grip primer and my baby hairs were Aaliyah J inspired <laughs> no no girl I don't like that <laughs> no and it's so funny because she brought up the fact that Jada and um I forgot who the other person was were the ones who inspired her to do her hair like this her baby hairs and it's so funny because I'm like dang I really didn't think to do my baby hairs like this until I saw Aaliyah J do it oopsie so just your daily reminder to do what you want to do because you never know who's watching. You never know who you might inspire. Because Jada didn't inspire me. <laughs> yes, boo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan. And I'm going to use this to color correct, conceal. Mm -hmm. This is my first time actually ever going in with this color. Usually I'll use my Fenty Beauty. But if you know me well, you know I already set up my YouTube studio. Gianna's not giving me much liberty. So this is what I had here because I used this color to actually conceal underneath my eyebrows. Can y'all tell? I actually really like today's eyebrows. They look really, really good. But that was besides the point. I used this color today to conceal under my eyebrows. Usually I'll go in with pure beige, but I feel like cool tan was actually way more of my skin color. Pure beige, I think it's more for the winter when your girl is lacking luster. So on today's agenda, Gianna and I are gonna take some mommy and me photos. I've been like really meaning to do this, but I never really took the time out to get inspiration and stuff like that. As of lately, I don't know if y'all can tell, but I don't really have a YouTube schedule anymore that I'm actually abiding by. Sorry for all the noise, Gianna's shuffling everything. So basically, like, whenever there's an event, if I'm going out, I'm like, all right, let me get dressed. Let me cease this opportunity to get my pictures done. And although it's been... <sighs> Remember when I told you I lost the babysitter? My father came back. <laughs> he probably watched the video. So Gianna's with my dad now, so now I can talk freely and just do what I need to do. But like I was saying, as you guys saw, if you are following, you know that, like, I've been a fellow a long time ago from my like YouTube um, schedule and stuff like that. I used to have a day where I would record my content, edit my content, post my content. Like I was really like on schedule with everything. Whereas now I'm just like, all right, if I'm going out to eat, I'm gonna wear a cute outfit, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll get some content then. And honestly, it's working in a sense that like, yeah, I'll get my good picture, but you know, still not putting back on the verge of consistency. Which leads me back to today's conversation, which leads me to today's conversation because I didn't even start it. But before I do that, let me get some foundation. Actually, yeah, let me get some foundation. So basically, I need to be a MILF this summer. And for me, with being a MILF means that I'm going to be a boss chick again and be back on my stuff. It's hard, like I always say to y'all, if y'all follow me, I know I'm always like, it's so hard being a mom and it is hard, but at the end of the day, I need to focus, get back on my grind. So ways that I think I'm going to start milfing it up is I want to start working out again. I was working out every now and again. It was a time when I was working out for like, I think like two or three weeks straight. Your girl felt off. Okay, I felt all the way off. I'm not even sure why. Uh oh, you know what it was? The weekend came around. <laughs> And that weekend turned real long. Next thing you know, it was Monday again. It was two Mondays and your girl has not seen a Chloe Ting workout. I have not seen my yoga mat, nothing. Two weeks turned into two months. Two months turned into four months, you know? And my body, yes, I did snap back, but like, come on now. I need, I know I could do, I could do way better. Like I can definitely get my tummy real flat and stuff like that. And you know, your girl loves Kit Kat, so whatever. So this video is just for motivation, no purposes. Cause I know a lot of moms follow me and I just feel like we are that chick. Like we were that chick before we had our babies and we gotta be that chick after we have our babies. And we are gonna be like even more that chick 
for the simple fact that we doing it with a kid like oh Oh my gosh that speaks volumes like once i master a lot of people always be like oh i don't know how you do it and child i don't know how to do it but like once i really master it like without being frustrated and stuff like that or maybe i won't even get to that point because even before i had a kid i used to get frustrated oh man i forgot to spray my face and my last year, child, get ready with me. I told y'all I sprayed my face with this fix plus pink light and oh my gosh my foundation was flawless like so freaking good Next, I'm gonna go in with my Pat McGrath concealer in the color M17. I just gotta be that chick again, and I just wanna do it in the MILF edition. I wanna start working out again. Not I want to, I hate saying I want to, because if you wanna do something, you should just go and do it. Like, there's no reason why I should stop you. So I'm going to start working out again. Y'all are my witness. Y'all better hold me accountable, please. <laughs> Slide in my DMs on Instagram like y'all always do, and you know, Yoke me up a little bit, like, um, says we ain't see you working out, like, we ain't see you even pick up a book or something to, like, you know, use as a weight to work out. I've also, one thing I've started doing was I started reading. Again, change is an event, not a process, so I haven't been reading, like, every single day. But I purchased this book from Target, and it's called um, something like Conversations with a Black Man. And it's not what you think it's about, it's not about relationships or anything, but it's basically about this man's standpoint He's basically trying to talk to white people about what it's like being black in America. And like, he's also talking to black people. I only done read about eight pages, but it talks about, <laughs> if you guys are interested, I'll link the book down below, but it's like, seems like a very good read. I'm not really into those type of books that are, now I'm gonna go on with my matchstick and the color truffle. I'm not really into books that are like about sex and stuff like that. Like I used to be so heavily into those books when I was little. I think I was just little and horny. Young and horny and just wanted to read about You wasn't having sex, but you just wanna read about it. Like, freaking weirdo. But yeah, I'm not into those books anymore. So I'm like more into books that can teach me something. I hate motivational books. Like, am I the only one? Motivational books are just so cliche to me. Like, I think I tried reading You're a Badass, and I was just like, this is so, like, cringy. It was just too much. It's like, at what point, I, I like realistic things, and I just feel like motivational books are not realistic, for me at least. Like, I wanna know, you know, like, you got it out the mud, and you, you had doubts and you came up out of the doubt and now you're here and you look back in hindsight and you could see where you went wrong you could see what you did great but you respect the hustle i don't know i just feel like at least the motivational books that i read is just so like but don't give up life is still near and yes you need that but like sometimes i want to know that it's okay to fall apart and even though in those motivational books they'll tell you that like you know it's okay to fall apart just get back up and it's like, no, I want to kick myself in the ass. I want to feel like, oh my gosh, I hate myself. I don't want to do this anymore. And I want to know that being pessimistic in those moments is okay. Like, because I guess I always tell you guys, I'm a very optimistic person. So when I get become very pessimistic, I be really feeling like this is the end for me. Like the fact that I have gotten to the point where I am pessimistic, I be like, dang, life is over. Like. <laughs> Like, not even I can talk myself about the mud right now. So, yeah. That's just my little rant. Oh, wow, I do not like motivational books. But this book I'm reading seems to be very interesting so far. It's just about real-life events. It actually talks about COVID and, um, you know, it's actually current events. Current events. A lot of current events are in that book. So, it's actually more relatable as well. And the reason why I started reading is for the simple fact that if you guys don't realize, I do trip over my words a lot and I do like misspeak a lot. And I, whenever I try to explain myself, I'm always so like, first of all, I hate saying the word like, maybe that's just a YouTube thing, but whenever I try to explain myself in certain situations, I feel like I'm, I'm very vague. And then I hate when people try to challenge what I'm saying, like, okay, but that's not what you said. But I'm like, okay, but that's what I meant. And I feel like a lot of that is a lack of vocabulary and a lack of expanding my vocabulary. I graduated with my master's last year, but it's kind of like if you don't lose it, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And even then the last semester or the last few classes that I had was during COVID. So I was BSing that whole thing, all right, y'all? So let's just say I've been out of school for about a year. And even though I'm very intellectual, 
I don't like feeling like I'm tripping over my words and I don't have the right words to say. I just feel like I'm 26 years old, I have a kid, I'm going to have more kids, and I should be having the words to say. So I just feel like reading will definitely help me to expand my vocabulary more. It'll help me tap into different conversations and not just the same ones that I'm seeing on Instagram and just, you know, seeing within my community. And when I say community, I don't mean like, oh, the black community. I just literally mean like amongst the people I am with all the time. Remember, I don't go into work anymore. I don't really have a social life like that. So I really just only talk to my friends and I talk to my family and that's about it. So all my conversations are literally with the same people. And uh, you know, you can't grow in just being in isolation. I know people look at me in the street like she's so tiny, but ain't nothing better than when you can really get down into a real conversation with somebody and they realize, oh, you're not that young. <laughs> And even though you're pretty, you're not dumb. Like, no, I'm actually not. <laughs> I know how to articulate myself. So yeah, those are two ways that I really wanna like boss up myself. Reading more, working out. <sighs> I really wanna say I wanna get back into my YouTube. Not content, cause clearly I've been making content, but like I said, I haven't had my, I haven't been on it with my schedule. And I wanna say I want to be, but I'm just afraid to make that commitment and then let you guys down. So I think I just want, I need to, work on myself first and then come back to YouTube. Cause <sighs> I see the difference with my content from before and my content now. Like my content from before, like you can tell I was really putting in that work, really putting in that pain. And now I just feel like I know I have to put out videos and I don't really enjoy putting out videos, but I know I have to do it so I get it done. But like I'm not on it where I have like a schedule and I'm like, planning out my content for the week or the month. I'm not doing that anymore. And I just, it does make me sad because this is something that I want. And I just feel like I'm constantly making excuses. I just feel like if you're not right within and if everything doesn't feel right inside, then you know, you, it's gonna reflect. I also would like to start waking up early in the morning. This week, um, I had to actually get my car serviced and I woke up at 6.30 a.m. y'all, it was, it was so beautiful and I always tell my boyfriend I'm like yo I want to start waking up at like 5 5 30. the thought always sounds good when you're already awake at night and you're like yeah I can do this and then when 5 30 rolls around you're like damn I should not have went to bed at that time but yeah I woke up at 6 30 it took a shower Gianna was still asleep Caleb had left to go to work and it literally felt amazing after I got the shower I got dressed I did my hair. I was able to warm up Gianna's breakfast and then she woke up. But it felt good not having to wake up with Gianna. I'm trying to get my stuff together and she's looking at me on the bed like, pick me up, pick me up, and stuff like that. So I just felt really good to have that moment to myself. And usually I take those moments to myself at night, which isn't good. But I take those moments at night because that's when Gianna's sleeping, Caleb's doing his own thing. So like I'll be up on Instagram scrolling and stuff like that. I don't have that leisure during the day. So when nighttime I do it, so with doing that, I'll be going to see mad late. And I'll wake up like around 10. But for me now, guys, like waking up at 10, the day is basically over. You wake up at 10, you finally eat breakfast, get Gianna ready. It's 12 o'clock, like half the day is gone. So, you know, my energy be gone. I'll be like, yo, F this, I don't got what else i don't feel like doing nothing else for the rest of the day but like i said that day that i actually woke up early i went and got, got my car service i think i was done getting my car service by like maybe 12 1 p.m and i still feel like i had the day like i was already showered i already had breakfast now next for me to do is to have lunch and keep going with the day and it just felt really amazing i tried actually waking up early today and i don't know what happened y'all <laughs> I think it's like because my body knew I wanted to wake up early. It was just like, no, don't. And I hate that. I hate that. I hate calling a devil's name. But sometimes I just feel like, you know, he knows what you want and he makes you feel like it's just so hard to attain sometimes. Like, oh no, go back to sleep, lay down. I hate that so much. So one thing I have to really work on is um, mind over matter or is it mind over body? And you know, if I wanna wake up early, just gotta do it. Even if it means waking up early and 
just laying there for a second or meditating or just going to take a shower and then going back to sleep. Like I feel like I should just at least do that versus turning off the alarm and then going back to sleep until nine o'clock and I got nothing done and then here I am back in these emotions again. Sorry, my camera was overheating so I just put on my lashes and I think that was all I did. <laughs> I just added my lashes and added a bit of bronzer to my eyes just as eyeshadow because I totally forgot to put on eyeshadow. But whatever i've been also really loving this like more lighter weight eyelash usually i'm wearing like those big like really wispy ones but this has been more my steez lately but i don't remember what i was talking about maybe i was talking about waking up early let me zoom in a little bit more for me to reach my fullest potential of being a milf this summer i just feel like waking up early has to be one of the things and i was somebody that used to wake up really late and now that I have a kid and I'm trying to get more stuff done, waking up an hour earlier isn't going to cut it. Especially now where Gianna is not just being breastfed. Like, well, she's been not just being breastfed. This has been, she has been eating solids for three months now. But as you can see, for the past few months, your girl been struggling. So something's got to give. And I feel like making more time for myself. Wow, I never usually have on this much blush, but I think I like it. Making more time for myself is definitely something that needs to happen in order for me to reach the potential potential that I want to reach with my YouTube career and everything else. Um, now for some highlighter. I love this highlighter so much. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Highlighter Palette in Danella Manures. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> like, I don't even remember what highlighters I was using before this one. I can get a little brush just to get here on my eyes. This is so cute. Put some here. Just for the hell of it. Nah, I really like this. Go back in with my Fenty Fly Liner. Oh, that's also what I did off camera. I put on some eyeliner. And as I can see, I'm like trying to step it up with my makeup game as well. I just feel like I have definitely become very predictable when it came to my makeup. Like I was using all the same products. I was just doing the same thing and I was tired of it. So I know y'all was tired of it. Okay, okay. And lastly, I'm going to go in with my Forbes Beauty. I actually got this from a pop-up shop. It's a lip liner. And she also has lip glosses. I got some hair growth oil. And I love this lip liner. It's just so nice. It glides on easy on the lips. I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the Pat McGrath lipstick. Lip gloss in the color Dare to Be, Dare to Bear. So pretty. And then I'm gonna spray my face now. Wow, my face took faster. Am I missing something? This is the final look of my face. I don't know why my lighting is changing. What the heck? So let me go get dressed and I'll show you guys the finishing look. 